we're going to be talking to you about five common mistakes in the conventional deadlift and how to fix them. A lot of lifters get under the impression that the lower they put their butt, the more effectively they're going to be able to use their legs in the start of the lift. They start to pull, their hips rise, the bar doesn't move anywhere, and then the bar starts to move. RDL to the bar. So it's like you're doing an air RDL, hinging at the hip, pushing your hips back, finding that tension in the hamstring, and pulling yourself down the rest of the way into the start position. But what you're doing is you're losing any kind of stretch reflex that you could have from a more dynamic start. You're just kind of wasting energy. You're taking some of that pop out of your, out of your legs. And you know, while the technique of the deadlift is important, it's not that intricate. So you don't want to give yourself too much time to overthink it when you're down in that position. They see a, a deadlift video of Brian Shaw or something. They're like, wow, this guy's a great deadlifter and his hands are really wide. I'm going to put my hands and maybe feet really wide as well but they're not taking into account that they're not six foot eight, 450 pounds, and they don't need to be that wide. So use your shins as the guide right outside should be essentially a plumb line down from your shoulders. So a lot of times, whether it's people trying to start too fast off the floor, trying to be overly explosive while they initiate the lift is causing their hips to rise too soon. If you're losing position, you might need to do a better job protecting the armpits, which is a cue we like to use to help engage the lats better. Doing halting deadlifts can be a good way to practice better start position. So a late lockout is gonna be, you're initiating the lockout and the bar is well past your knees. This often is gonna have the athlete leaning back in the finish and sometimes that's leading to an unlocking of the knees after the bar has been locked out. So when the bar reaches the bottom of Marissa's knees, that's when she wants to initiate flexing her glutes to drive her hips forward to meet the bar at its lowest point.